my mother's a Methodist minister, um, which prompts us a lot about how I grew up. Um, and every Sunday after church, there was a drugstore down the street, and my mother would give me five bucks just to go, basically occupy myself while she did her after church duties. And um, I would get out of this little drugstore, and one Sunday I went down there, and I, just, I, you know, I didn't want any candy or for whatever reason. I, um, I went over to the spin rack and I bought my first issue of Uncanny X-Men. And it was the first comic I ever bought. It was the issue, I want to say it was 272? Don't get correct, don't worry. Watch it, here it comes. Um, it was the issue, it was the first issue of Psylocke, and it was Sabretooth trying to kill Psylocke, chasing her around in Xavier Mansion, and Wolverine trying to stop it. I thought by Alan Day, this was a two issue arc. Anybody know the issue number? Wait, is that the one where she was British Psylocke or Asian Psylocke? British Psylocke. I think you're talking about 213. I think it was 213. <laughs> you were such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know which one you're talking about. Is that the one where the cover is like um... Uh, it's, yeah, it's Wolverine and, and, and... Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. That's the one. You were, you were almost there. Metric. It was 272. <laughs> 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 I'm only funny, Canada. Uh, <laughs> I'll be your own. <laughs> yes. Yeah. These are called Copic markers. They're, uh, they're Japanese. Um, they're, uh, what's great about these, I didn't bring anybody to show you, but what's great about these is they're refillable. Um, so you only buy the marker once, and then you buy these, uh, these refillable canisters, and the nib actually, I'm to spill ink everywhere. The nib actually comes off, and then you just you use the nozzle and you refill the, the, the pin there. And, um, yeah, they're, they're amazing. I used to use Prismacolors, but Prismacolors aren't, aren't refillable, and so you have to throw out your marker by new ones every time it went, it went dead. I have a if you If you go online and type in Copic, um, you should find multiple sellers, even in the U.S., that sell them. If, depending if you live in a big enough city, some art supply stores will sell them as well. Yeah, for Sarah's. Oh, okay, I'll do a lot of places here. Oh, okay. yeah. We have one place in Atlanta where I can go, oh, so I just have to order online. <laughs> I live like it here. I've had poutine four times. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> have you had poutine with me yet, or are you just doing it? I'm a classic poutine guy. I you can't afford you're not an anything poutine guy. <laughs> <laughs> classic bacon. Bacon bits. I think that's about the only thing I, I, I put on there. But yeah, I don't, if, it's, if you put like sauce or something on this, it's poutine anymore. I mean, it's chicken poutine. What does poutine mean, by the way, or is it poutine just means poutine? Someone? Anybody? You know what, though, if you guys want, because I, I keep trying to get my friends to eat it, I'm like, hey, you guys try poutine. Like, what is it? And I'm like, french fries? I'm like, uh-huh. Like, gravy? I'm like, uh-huh. I have cheese curds. <laughs> and they go, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 it's like mozzarella. And they're like, no, cheese curds? What's a cheese curd? you got to change the name. <laughs> cheese. 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 Just, just call it cheese awesome. <laughs> um, I'm using paper that I borrowed from the guy next to me because I ran out of paper. Um, <laughs> I think it's just printer paper. Yeah, I think it is. I, I really don't know what kind of paper it is. I don't normally use this kind of paper. Um, if you're going to draw with Copic markers, the best kind of paper to use is this stuff. It accepts the it's upside down uh, way. <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> um, it accepts the ink the best. Like here's a piece I just finished, and you can. Wow. It, it just it, it accepts the the Copics and it bleeds and blends really well. Um, it's a little thinner. It's not very thick paper, but you know it's a sacrifice you, you do to, to get something like this. Does okay. it bleed through? Does it bleed through to the other side? It does. Bleeds pretty good, see? <laughs> but, you know, that's why you let a paper because you forget that the paper underneath it is going to get all this. <laughs> so, you know, all the paper underneath it becomes pretty useless. Repeat that again. That was deep. Um, I, 
think the content of the art is more important. I think the problem uh, that a lot of artists, especially up and coming, have is they start trying to force style. And I was guilty of it too. I think everyone is at the beginning. That's why it drives me crazy when I see like these 12 year olds who say they want to be artists and all they're drawing is anime and manga stuff. It's like they're just forcing, they're forcing something that's not natural to them. Um, basically, what you're talking about is style versus technique. And it's, I think technique is always going to be more important. Your style, I expect this way, style is like a mutant power, right? You're 10 years old, if you're a mutant, you don't know what's going to happen when you get puberty, right? You may grow wings, or maybe you fly. I guess as far as Marvel goes, I think she's probably the most famous thing to have, wouldn't you say? Uh, I, I guess I will agree with you because I have no better answer. Um, I, also, I always thought you would drawn Phoenix. I don't know why. I would assume that's what you would drawn. Well, uh, is, is Phoenix a fifth of town? I don't even know what the, what does that term mean to you guys? I'm just curious. Anybody? What does I don't know either because I read the thing. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> I always think like I don't think you say name. No offense, is Jim Ballant, Balin. You know, the guy who yeah, Ballant who struck Catwoman. Like I guess I think the stuff he does with broad sword comics or whatever is femme fatale. It's a weird word to me. But the stuff he does now, like tear it or Yeah, I guess I never know what that term means. Like, I, what, see, I don't think that's femme fatale. So there's no, yeah. there, there, there's no sexual element to it. No, no, no. Well, it depends, actually. Like, you can use sexual as a jolly as, like, a charm, sort of. Like, some people fear these people because they have the ability to charm or lure them into a situation of yeah. disastrous. It's come, that's how the Fatal is used in uh, detective fiction, actually. Yeah. I love that you guys are telling me about Finn Patel. I know. <laughs> I, I, I remember, like, you know, Wizard term. It was always like a busty Catwoman in Wizard. Like, look at the top ten Finn Fatales. Who's the hottest? Um, there's someone back there, too. Wrap your hand up. I think the picture. I think that it's sort of like They're like a beautiful sword. <laughs> beautiful, but you don't want to touch it. Okay, how is it? Do we all agree Mark does a very good job drawing femme fatales? Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. I realize I'm not talking very much actually what I'm doing, so if you guys have questions about what I'm doing, I have a really hard time trying to explain what I'm doing, so um, if you have a question, just please ask. Like that guy back there. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, speaking of Marvel, what's your favorite Marvel superhero? My favorite Marvel superhero? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, um, I don't know. I, I, I guess probably Nightcrawler. I really enjoy drawing Nightcrawler. I, I'm not saying I just like know that I draw him well. I, I, I actually don't think I draw him that well, but I do. I enjoy drawing him a great deal. Um, yeah. I would say that. Um, Favorite female? Marvel maybe female characters? Favorite female? Probably Rogue. I love Rogue. I think I love her so much because I'm, I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, my father, uh, my grandfather, my father's father um, was a pig farmer. And so I grew up... Um, Not being able to touch anybody? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, I grew up very um, second generation white trash. Um, so I have a thing for uh, I have a thing for the Southern Bells, you know. So first time I saw her, she was all, you know, sugar of this and, you know. I just thought it was pretty hot. So she's my girl. Yep. I have a question. So I'm watching you draw right now. How do you figure out where to put the highlights? Because like I see that you actually have highlights here and there, and it actually works. But how do you figure that out? Like how to place them correctly, or is there even such a thing? No, it's just practice. You know, I, um, I you know I, I studied real life. I, I look at pictures of real women, see how light actually hits their faces. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with, with guys. Um, you just, you know, you study and you, and you do it long enough and it kind of comes natural. One of the big things with women, this thing I'm doing here with the eyes is, I call it smoking the eyes. Um, if you're working with markers, always put like this nice little halo of, of gray, almost like around the eyelashes. It makes the eyes pop out and it gives them much more of a feminine look and it kind of adds to that whole um, look. <laughs> Yes, 
Are you talking about face or body? Um, both. Um, well, the first thing that everyone automatically looks at, and it's not just for women, it's for all characters, is, um, is the eyes. So you automatically have to make the eyes, you have to sell the eyes. If you don't sell the eyes, it doesn't matter how good the rest of the piece is, it's, it's going to fall flat. Um, when it comes to the body, um, everyone would always say it's the, um, the chest, but it's not. It's, um, it's actually the, um, the behind, the rear end. The reason that is is because, and the reason men are attracted to cleavage is because cleavage mimics the look and shape of the top of the ass crack. <laughs> and it's, psych it's psychological. So now look at anybody's Italian snap. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look at you. Is that true with you, Mark? Yes. Yeah, my coleslaw. You're such a male fatale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I still can't believe it's funny. I'm just saying. Yes, it's <laughs> <laughs> Very good, thank you. Who's next? Uh, Mark, you want to go Okay, well, uh, I have, I'm trying to get another question for you, Mark. How do you know what you've done? <laughs> uh, a, a, a wiser artist than me once said, no artwork is ever completed, only abandoned. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think it's ever really done. Um, but how much time do we have? We have, uh, we have 17 minutes. So I know I'm done in 17 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Was it, have you got any, or have you received any strange requests for commissions this weekend or anything that's absolutely surprising? No, no, I did have, um, I had a guy, I had a piece on the bring with me, I left it downstairs, I'm so sorry, but I did a piece of uh, baby doll. Um, oh, I saw that too, it's really pretty. Yeah, I was really happy with how it came out, so that was a cool request. Um, but nothing really strange this time. You know, I do have this one guy that, that wants um, Jean Grey, was there something, she was like, cool Atlantis or something? Storm, maybe? I don't know. Continue, so we'll see if we figure it out. I don't know. Um, but um, he's, 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 he might be in this room. Is he in this room? <laughs> yeah, what's Jean Grey's gauge? Mike Costa, I think. Antonio Fuso? Fuso? The artist's name is really great. Um, also, check out X Force that, uh, that Mark is doing, that Jerome Payne did before him, and that Billy Tan also was involved with. Just beautiful, that's a beautiful, beautiful series. Why did I say that one? Uh, but yeah, that's a great series, and Mark's doing a great job on that. Oh, I was. I'm not done with it now. Well, trying to pass out. Do you put Just any of your nice pieces up, like, on any special sites, like, uh, like, I don't know, just, like, pick art sites? I do, yeah. I use um, DeviantArt pretty religiously. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! DeviantArt. <laughs> um, if, you, uh, if you go on DeviantArt and look up Diablo 2003, that's, that's me. I, on the um, when I signed up for DeviantArt, I did it on a whim, just because I wanted to get rid of the site, and, and I, I started up, and now, obviously, I started in 2003. Anybody who gets yeah. So, uh, what's your favorite uh, night caller? My favorite night caller? Yeah, yeah. wait, night caller, of course. Nice. I, I, like, I, I like it when he goes, well, I hate when, get, when they take them all pious. You know, it's like, oh, no, I cannot kill you. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I, I love God and Jesus. Yeah, I, I, like, I, like, I like swashbuckling. Was that a candy 273 where you I think it was, yeah. I love the Excalibur and Nightcrawler. I love Excalibur and Nightcrawler too. He was really cool in that. Um, I, I, just, I, I loved Excalibur back in the day. It was such a good book. Yeah, I really dug that. I, I, just, I like the AOA because I just like the idea of it's like, you know, it's like Batman and Robin. Yeah, I really like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I just like the idea that, you know, he's a, he's a demon. He's a demonic sometimes. And AOA is what he does that. Guys, uh, I think that's the uh, last question we have time for. Guys, thank you so very much for coming. Mar I think Mark's going to just finish this up right now. And yeah. he'll be uh, downstairs at the booth. He has a lot of great prints and art books for sale. Um, and he's also a really nice guy to talk to. So, guys, round of applause for Mark Brooks. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Red. Uh, my mother's a Methodist minister. Um, which pumps us a lot about how I grew up. Um, and every Sunday after church, there was a drugstore down the street, and my mother would give me five bucks just to go basically occupy myself while she did her after church duties. And um, I would go out of this little drugstore, and one Sunday I went down there, and I, just, I, either I didn't want any candy or for whatever reason, I, um, I went over to the spinner rack and I bought my first issue of Uncanny X-Men. 
And it was the first time I ever bought. It was the issue, I want to say it was 272, 274. Don't get corrected somewhere. I know, yeah, watch it, here it comes. Um, it was the issue, it was the first issue of Psylocke, and it was Sabretooth trying to kill Psylocke, chasing her around in Xavier Mansion, and Wolverine trying to stop it. Called by Alan Davis, it was a two issue arc. Anybody know the issue number? Wait, is that the one where she was British Psylocke or Asian Psylocke? British Psylocke. I think you're talking about 213. I think it was too much. You were such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know which one you're talking about. Is that the one where the cover is like a... Um... It's, yeah, it's Wolverine and, and, and... Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I know what you're talking about. That's the one. You were, you were almost there. Metric. It was 272. <laughs> 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 I'm only funny in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be wrong. <laughs> yes. I know that she used Photoshop for your digital. Um, we're actually wondering, what are you using right now for your markers? Like, where would you get these are called Copic markers. They're, uh, they're Japanese. Um, they're, uh, what's great about these, I didn't bring any with me to show you, but what's great about these is they're refillable. Um, so you only buy the marker once, and then you buy these, uh, these refillable canisters, and the nib actually, I'm to spill ink everywhere. The nib actually comes off, and then you just you use the nozzle and you refill the, the, the pin there. And, um, yeah, they're, they're amazing. I used to use Prismacolors, but Prismacolors aren't, aren't refillable, and so you have to throw out your marker by new ones every time it went, it went dead. I have a if you If you go online and type in Copic, um, you should find multiple sellers even in the U.S. that sell them. If, depending if you live in a big enough city, some art supply stores will sell them as well. Yeah, for Sarah's. Oh, okay, I'll oh, use a lot of places here. Oh, okay. yeah. We have one place in Atlanta where I can go, so I just have to order online. Hang up in Canada. I live like it here. I've had poutine with four times. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> have you had poutine with me yet, or are you just doing I'm a classic poutine guy. I've had a four times. You're not an anything poutine guy. Right? <laughs> classic, baby. Bacon bits. I think that's about the only thing I, I put on there. But yeah, I don't, if, if, if you put like sauce or something on this, it's poutine anymore. It's chicken poutine. What does poutine mean, by the way, or is it poutine just means poutine? Someone? Anybody? You know what, though, if you guys want, because I, I keep trying to get my friends to eat it, I'm like, have you guys tried poutine? Like, what is it? And I'm like, french fries, I'm like, uh-huh, like gravy, I'm like, uh-huh, I love cheese curds. <laughs> and, they, and they go, uh -huh. I'm like, no, no, it's like mozzarella. And they're like, no, cheese curds? What's a cheese curd? you got to change the name. <laughs> cheese. 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 Just call it cheese awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right there. Um, what kind of paper are you using? Um, I'm using paper that I borrowed from the guy next to me because I ran out of paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's just printer paper. Yeah, I think it is. I, I really don't know what kind of paper it is. I don't normally use this kind of paper. Um, if you're going to draw with Copic markers, the best kind of paper to use is this stuff. It accepts the it's upside down uh, way. <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> um, it accepts the ink the best. Like here's a piece I just finished, and you can. Wow. It, it, just, it, it accepts the the Copics and it bleeds and blends really well. Um, it's a little thinner. It's not very thick paper, but you know it's a sacrifice you, you do to, to get something like this. Does okay. it bleed through to the? Uh, does it bleed through to the other side? It does. Bleeds pretty good, see? <laughs> but, you know, that's why you let a paper because you forget that the paper underneath it is going to get all this. <laughs> I think so, you know. All the paper underneath it becomes pretty useless. Repeat that again. That was deep. <laughs> um, I think the content of the art is more important. I think the problem uh, that a lot of artists, especially up and coming, have is they start trying to force style. And I was guilty of it too. I think everyone is at the beginning. That's why it drives me crazy when I see like these twelve year olds who say they want to be artists and all they're drawing is anime and manga stuff. It's like they're just forcing they're forcing something that's not natural to them. Um, basically what you're talking about is style versus technique. And it's I think technique is always gonna be more important. Your style, I expect this way, style is like a mutant power, right? 
You're 10 years old. If you're a mutant, you don't know what's going to happen when you get puberty, right? You make her wings and you fly. I guess as far as Marvel goes, I think she's probably the most famous thing to tell, would you say? Uh, I, I guess I will agree with you because I have no better answer. Um, I would have thought you would drawn Phoenix. I don't know why. I would assume that's what you would have drawn. Well, uh, is, is Phoenix a fifth of town? I, I don't even know what the, what does that term mean to you guys? I'm just curious. Anybody? What does I don't know either. Because I read the thing, I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> I always think like I don't think you say the name of no offense is Jim Ballant, Balin. You know, the Ballant. guy who yeah, Ballant who struck Catwoman. Like I guess I think the stuff he does with Brad toward comics or whatever is Femme fatale, it's a weird word to me. But the stuff he does now, like tear it or whatever? Yeah, I guess I never knew what that term means. Well, I don't think that's good to tell. So there's no, there's, there's no sexual element to it. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Well, it depends, actually. Like, you can use sexual as a tally as, like, a charm, sort of. Like, some people hear these people because they have to be played through charm or lure them into a situation that would be disastrous. It's come, that's how the tell is used in detective uh, fiction, actually. Yeah. I love that you guys are telling me what the tell is. I know. <laughs> I, I, I remember, like, you know, Wizard term. I was always, like, a busty Catwoman in Wizard. Like, look at the top ten fan fatales. Who's the hottest? Um, there's someone back there, too. Wrap my hand up, I think, pick here. They're like a beautiful sword. <laughs> beautiful, we don't want to touch it. Okay, how is it? Do we all agree Mark does a very good job drawing femme fatales? Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. I realize I'm not talking very much actually what I'm doing, so if you guys have questions about what I'm doing, I have a really hard time trying to explain what I'm doing, so um, if you have any questions, please ask. Like that guy back there. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, speaking of Marvel, what's your favorite Marvel superhero? My favorite Marvel superhero? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, um, I don't know. I, I, I guess probably Nightcrawler. I really enjoy drawing Nightcrawler. I, I'm not saying I just like know that I draw him well. I, I, I actually don't even think I draw him that well, but I do. I enjoy drawing him a great deal. Um, yeah. I would say that. Um, Favorite female? Marvel movie? Female character? Favorite female? Probably Rogue. I love Rogue. I think I love her so much because I'm, I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, my father, uh, my grandfather, my father's father um, was a pig farmer. And so I grew up... Um, Not being able to touch anybody? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, I grew up very um, second generation white trash. Um, so I have a thing for, uh, I have a thing for the Southern Bells, you know. So first time I saw her and she was all, you know, sugar this and, you know. I just thought it was pretty hot. So she's my girl. Yep. I have a question. So I'm watching you draw right now. How do you figure out where to put the highlights? Because like I see that you actually have highlights here and there, and it actually works. But how do you figure that out? Like how to place them correctly, or is there even such a thing? That's just practice. You know, um, I you know I, I study real life. I, I look at pictures of real women, see how light actually hits their faces. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with the good guys. Um, you just, you know, you study and you, and you do it long enough and it kind of comes natural. One of the big things with women, this thing I'm doing here with the eyes is, I call it smoking the eyes. Um, if you're working with markers, always put like this nice little halo of, of gray, almost like around the eyelashes. It makes the eyes pop out and it gives a much more of a feminine look and it kind of adds to that whole um look. <laughs> So you automatically have to make the eyes. You have to sell the eyes. If you don't sell the eyes, it doesn't matter how good the rest of the piece is, it's, it's going to fall flat. Um, when it comes to the body, um, everyone would always say it's the, um, the chest, but it's not. It's, um, it's actually the, um, 
to the high that we were in. The reason that is is because, and the reason men are attracted to cleavage is because cleavage mimics the look and shape of the top of the ass crack. <laughs> and it's, psych it's psychological. I'm so, not looking at anybody in this audience now. I'm just going to look at you. Is that true with you, Mark? Yes. Is that my whole slot? You're such a male for tell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I still can't remember the I'm just saying. Yes, it's <laughs> <laughs> Very good, thank you. Who's next?